Hey guys, how's it going? So where we left off on the last video was we got this drive shaft out of the trail fire um, in preparation for putting in the Polaris suspension. Um, so what we're gonna do today is get these drivers off this stock drive shaft and we got a Harbor Freight 12 ton press and I also got new bearings for the drive shaft and the jack shaft um, so I got those from Busco Bullet um, Don Amber he carries a lot of parts for uh, John Deere sluts so check him out if you need parts so got a couple of JD8665, JD9335, JD8562. So, all right, let's get set up with this press and get these drivers off. Now both are moving.
that one's free. And they're off. Okay, so here's the wheels we're gonna put on. I've showed this before, but there it is again. So it's got the 2.52 pitch. And this is the track I'm gonna put on. It's from a Skidoo. Um, it's not the best of shape, but there's still plenty of life left in it. Um, I can always swap it out later if need be, but this is uh, a clip every third window. So it's, I don't know, it's, looks like a pretty good track. And... So this should be interesting. This is, I believe, a 1.25 hex, and this is a 1 inch. So we're pretty much going to broach these things on. Uh, see how that goes. And I have the dimensions of what it should be from the end to the center of the drivers. So. I'll get that and we can get them on here right. Okay, got the new driver on here. And what's nice now is we can just go from both ends. Um, so the dimensions are from the splined end to the center of each driver is 8.35 and 13.15. So we'll start pressing this one on. So it's making progress, we're not quite down to the bottom yet, so keep going.
this repositioned. So now it's to the bottom, so we're just going to have to hold it on the sides here. So there we are. Still got a ways to go. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to hold this better. All right, this is where we're at. So I got these pry bars here, kind of holding it more towards the center, like right in this area, because you don't want this thing to be bending. So as you can see, It's, it's getting there. It's a lot easier to press now that it's broken through, so. So let's we'll keep going with this and uh, I'll show you when it's done. All right, got the first one on. Uh, that was kind of a chore. So it's 13.15 inches from the end to the center. And you just gotta find what works. You know, I got these two pieces here, and then I used a couple pry bars, um, you know, that can put towards the center. Because if you're pressing on these, this thing's gonna bend. All right, off to the next one. All right, both drivers are on. And do a little test here. So, as you can see, they fit in the, uh, in the track. All right. So, it is doable. So, up next, we will get uh, new bearings on this jack shaft. Hopefully that's not too bad. Doesn't look all that bad. All right, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.